The civil services refer to the civil services, the permanent executive branch of the Republic of India. The civil service system is the backbone of the administrative machinery of the country. In the parliamentary democracy of India, the ultimate responsibility for running the administration rests with the elected representatives of the people, which are the ministers. But a handful of ministers cannot be expected to deal personally with the manifold problems of modern administration. Thus the ministers lay down the policy and it is for the civil servants to carry out this policy. The executive decisions are implemented by the Indian civil servants. The members of civil service serve at the pleasure of the President of India and Article 311 of the Constitution protects them from politically motivated or vindictive action. Civil servants are employees of the Government of India or of the states, however, not all employees of the government are civil servants. Civil servants in a personal capacity are paid from the civil list. Senior civil servants may be called to account by Parliament. As of year 2010, there were total 6.4 million government employees in India, and less than 50,000 civil servants to administer them. The civil service system in India is rank based and does not follow the tenets of the position based civil services. In 2015, the Government of India approved the formation of Indian Skill Development Service. Further, in 2016, the Government of India approved the formation of Indian Enterprise Development Service. History Warren Hastings laid the foundation of civil service and Charles Cornwallis reformed, modernized and rationalized it. Hence, Charles Cornwallis is known as the father of civil service in India. He introduced covenanted civil services, higher civil services and uncovenanted civil services, lower civil services The present civil services of India is mainly based on the pattern of the former Indian civil service of British India. The civil services were divided into two categories, covenanted and uncovenanted. The covenanted civil service consisted of only Europeans i.e., English personnel occupying the higher posts in the government. The uncovenanted civil service was solely introduced to facilitate the entry of Indians at the lower rung of the administration. With the passing of the Government of India Act 1919, the imperial services headed by the Secretary of State for India were split into two All India Services and Central Services. The All India and Central Services Group A were designated as Central Superior Services as early as 1924. From 1924 to 1934, administration in India consisted of ten All India Services and five Central Departments, all under the control of Secretary of State for India, and three Central Departments under joint provincial and imperial control. <laughs> Modern era The present Modern Civil Service was formed after the partition of India in 1947. It was Sardar Patel's vision that the civil service should strengthen cohesion and national unity. The values of integrity, impartiality and merit remain the guiding principles of Indian civil services. By the early 21st century, Indian civil servants have been colloquially called babus, while Indian bureaucracy is called babadam, as in the rule of babus. Especially in Indian media, Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions located in New Delhi is unofficially the Ministry of Civil Services in India. The ministry is responsible for training, reforms and pension for the civil service system in India. Topic. Constitutional provision for all India services Topic. The constitution under Article 312 provides for all India civil services branches to be set up by giving the power to the Rajya Sabha upper house of the Parliament of India to resolve by a two-thirds majority to establish new all India services. The Indian Administrative Service, Indian Police Service and Indian Forest Service are set up under this constitutional provision. Topic. Power, purpose and responsibilities Topic. The responsibility of the civil services is to run the administration of India. The country is managed through a number of central government agencies in accordance with the policy directions given by the ministries. 
The members of the civil services are represented as administrators in the central government and state government, emissaries in the foreign missions, embassies, as tax collectors and revenue commissioners, as civil service commissioned police officers, as permanent representatives and employees in the United Nations and its agencies and as chairman, managing director, full-time functional director, member of the board of management of various public sector undertakings, enterprises, corporations, banks and financial institutions. Civil servants are employed to various agencies of India and can also be appointed as advisors or special duty officers or private secretaries to ministers of the union and the state government. All appointments in the rank of joint secretary to government of India and above, other major appointments, impanelment and extension of tenure is done by the appointments committee of the cabinet. However, all appointments in the ranks below joint secretary in the federal government are done by the civil services board. Civil servants are the actual laws and policies. Makers in the country. They work on behalf of the elected government and cannot publicly show their disinterest or disapproval for the elected government. It is mandatory for them to form certain rules and policies according to the government views and interests, but additionally they cannot be removed by any state or central government, but can only be retired. Governance Head of the civil services The highest-ranking civil servant is the cabinet secretary. He is ex officio chairman of the Civil Services Board, the chief of the Indian Administrative Service and head of all civil services under the rules of business of the Government of India. He also holds the 11th position in the Order of Precedence of India. The position holder is accountable for ensuring that the civil service is equipped with the skills and capability to meet the everyday challenges it faces and that civil servants work in a fair and decent environment. Values and codes Topic. Topic. Values Topic. A member of the civil service in discharge of his, her functions is to be guided by maintaining absolute integrity, allegiance to the constitution and the law of the nation, patriotism, national pride, devotion to duty, honesty, impartiality and transparency. Topic. Codes Topic. The Government of India promotes values and a certain standard of ethics of requiring and facilitating every civil servant to discharge official duty with responsibility, honesty, accountability and without discrimination to ensure effective management, leadership development and personal growth to avoid misuse of official position or information to serve as instruments of good governance and foster social economic development. Construction The higher civil services of India can be classified into two types, the All India Services and the Central Civil Services Group A. The recruits are university graduates or above selected through a rigorous system of examinations, civil services examination, engineering services examination, combined geoscientist and geologist examination, IES, ISS. Examination, combined medical services examination, central armed police forces of Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, for Group A posts. Topic. All India Services. Topic. All appointments to all India civil services are made by the President of India. Indian Administrative Service IAS, Indian Forest Service IFS, Indian Police Service IPS. Topic. Central Services Group A Topic. The Central Civil Services Group A are concerned with the administration of the Union Government. All appointments to Central Civil Services Group A are made by the President of India. Topic: <laughs> Central Services Group B. Topic: 
For Group B posts, the Combined Graduate Level Examination is conducted by the Staff Selection Commission .All appointments to Group B are made by the authorities specified by a general or special order of the President. State Services Group A. The state civil services examinations and recruitment are conducted by the individual states' public service commissions in India. These services are feeder services of all India services. All appointments to state services Group A are made by the governors of states. All state civil and administrative services in India above the rank of deputy collector are Group A service. The officers of following services are later promoted to IAS. All state police services above the rank of Deputy SP are Group A service. The officers of following services are later promoted to IPS. All state judicial services above the rank of Judicial Magistrate are Group A service. The officers of following services are later promoted as judges in high courts. Higher Judicial Service HJS. Provincial Civil Service Judicial Branch PCs J. Topic. State Services Group B Topic. The State Civil Services Group B deal with subjects such as land revenue, agriculture, forests, education etc. The officers are recruited by different states through the respective state public service commissions, and appointed by the governor of that state. Assistant Registrar Cooperative Societies Block Development Officer District Employment Officer District Food and Supplies Controller – Officer District Treasury Officer District Welfare Officer Excise and Taxation Officer Tessildar – Talukadar – Assistant Collector Any other Class 1, Class 2 service notified as per rules by the concerned state, i.e. officers, lecturers, assistants, associate professors, or principals of government degree colleges, Class 1. Topic. Concerns and reforms Topic. As of 2011, in a duration of past three years over 450 charge sheets have been filed and a total of 943 cases are at different stages of investigation by CBI against civil servants. A study by the Hong Kong-based Political and Economic Risk Consultancy, released in 2012, ranked and rated Indian bureaucracy as the worst in Asia with a 9.21 rating out of 10. According to the study, India's inefficient and corrupt bureaucracy was responsible for most of the complaints that business executives have about the country. A paper prepared in 2012 by the Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions states that corruption is prevalent at all levels in civil services and it is institutionalized. On 28 November 2011, the Department of Personnel and Training of the Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions created a proposal to retire and remove incompetent, inefficient, and unproductive all India service officers after 15 years of service, instead of tolerating them until their retirement. Former Cabinet Secretary T.S.R. Subramanian welcomed this move with caution, saying, periodical weeding out is very good. But the process to determine who needs to be prematurely retired should be fair and transparent. There is a possibility that even good officers may be targeted because of political reasons. Former UPSC Chairman P.C. Hoda echoed his sentiments remarking that, we need drastic remedies. The situation has become terrible. The other day an officer in Delhi was arrested for disproportionate assets of 31.5 million rupees. She is just a 2000 batch IAS officer with 11 years of service. But at the same time, the officer's service records should be analyzed before a decision against him was taken. The proposal has been accepted and Rule 16 of the All India Services Death Cum Retirement Benefits Rules of 1958 was amended on 31 January 2012. In October 2013, the Supreme Court of India, in the case of TSR Subramanian and ORS v. Union of India and ORS ordered both Government of India and state governments to ensure fixed tenure to civil servants. The court asked senior bureaucrats to write down the oral instructions from politicians so that a record would be kept of all the decisions. This judgment was seen on the similar lines of the Supreme Court's 2006 judgment in Prakash Singh case on police reforms. 
The judgment was welcomed by various bureaucrats and the media who hoped that it will help in giving freedom and independence to the functioning of bureaucracy. In 2016, the Ministry of Finance for the first time, dismissed 72 and prematurely retired another 33 Indian Revenue Service officers for non-performance and on disciplinary grounds. In 2016, it was reported that Government of India has decided to empower common man to seek prosecution of corrupt IAS officers. Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions DOPT, has accepted to receive requests from private persons seeking sanction for prosecution in respect of IAS officers without any proper proposal and supporting documents. Topic Civil Services Day Topic The Civil Service Day is celebrated on 21 April every year. The purpose for this day is to rededicate and recommit themselves to the cause of the people. It is observed by all civil services. This day gives civil servants the opportunity for introspection and thinking about future strategies to deal with the challenges being posed by the changing times. On this occasion, all officers of central and state governments are honored for excellence in public administration by the Prime Minister of India. The Prime Minister Award for Excellence in Public Administration is presented in three categories. Under this scheme of awards instituted in 2006, all the officers individually or as group or as organization are eligible. The award includes a medal, scroll and a cash amount of 100,000 rupees $1,400. In case of a group, the total award money is 500,000 rupees $7,000 subject to a maximum of 100,000 rupees $1,400 per person. For an organization the cash amount is limited to 500,000 rupees Topic See also Topic Order of Precedence of India Topic References Topic 50, UPSC Exam 2018 Freejobs-Alert.com Topic External links Topic Topic Official Topic UPSC Union Public Service Commission, India 7th Pay Commission Chief recommends one rank, one pension for GOVT employees by the Indian Express Prime Minister instructs DOPT for speedy impanelment of officers from all central services by the Times of India not only IAS, MHA opens doors for all services. The Week. Archived from the original on 8 January 2017. All India Civil Services The All India Services Conduct Rules of 1968 Central Civil Services The Central Civil Services Conduct Rules of 1964 Central Secretariat Manual of Office Procedure 14th Edition by Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions Others Governance in India Civil Service Reform in India, Problems and Reforms <laughs>